Hey guys, guess what? Today is a casual Friday. I'm gonna start making casual Fridays where I just use my vlogging camera and I show you something cool. Today, I'm actually gonna show you how I do my cloth diaper routine, how I wash them and everything. I'm gonna just go over some really super basics. So maybe you don't cloth diaper and you're still going, why do you do it? How do you do it? What about all the poop? What about all the poop? I'm gonna explain to you now how it all works and maybe you'll get to get all the poopy dirty details and figure it all out. Okay, so if you guys don't know, this is where I change Oliver. Basically, you would lay the baby right here. And when you change his diaper, I'm gonna kinda show you how it works. I grab a diaper out of here. These are my two cloth diaper buckets. And this actually holds all my Charlie Banana diapers because I actually have a lot more Charlie Banana diapers than any other type of diaper. And then any other type of diaper goes in here. I have all kinds of different types of brands that go in this one. Down here is um, like inserts. And then these are Charlie Banana inserts. In here is actually our wipes. We use two different types of wipes. We have water wipes, which I love because they are 99.9% .9 water and only 0.1% fruit extract. We also use cloth wipes um, sometimes. I prefer cloth wipes. Brian hates cloth wipes, so we kind of alternate back and forth. For this one, this is a Charlie Banana diaper, and the way it works is if the baby was right here, I would unsnap it and take it off of him. This is the one part that everyone asks. What do you do with the poop? Because Oliver is only breastfed, exclusively breastfed, I actually do not have to rinse off any poop. Yes, that is right. The poop goes right into here, basically. And then, I'm gonna get that out there because I really want to use that. It goes right into here and this will end up going right into the washing machine. At some point, which of course there's going to be a time when Oliver is not exclusively breastfed, he will start to eat solids and other types of food. When that happens, it will have to be rinsed off. Now we can use to, we can choose to use a liner and we can just take that liner and dump it right into the toilet or you can use a sprayer to spray off the poop. It's really not a big deal either way. I'm not I'm not worried about it, but right now our life is super easy because I don't have to do anything. If there's poop on this, I do not have to worry about it. It is water soluble, so it can go right into the washing machine and it just goes away. But it's a really cool thing about cloth diapering is a lot of people are like, what about the poop? What? That's so gross. It's really not that gross and we really don't deal with any more poop than you would using a disposable diaper. I clean my diapers about every two to three days depending on my stash. The way it works is we have to grab this. It's really gross. This is probably the, the least fun part. You, I basically have this trash can, which is really nice. I don't smell the poop at all. You have to take this and take it down to the washing machine. First off, I have a Kenmore high efficiency, a high efficiency front loader washer and dryer machine. All right, so first things first, we now have to put these into here. They're already set to go, so I just have to get it in here which is actually not fun to do. <laughs> One-handed, okay. If I had a top loader, this would be so much more easier because I could just unzip it and just it just falls right in. All right, so all the diapers are in there and also the diaper pail goes in there as well. And we'll just close that. First off, I use Eco's uh, Free and Clear Laundry Detergent. Before we use the soap though, we do have to rinse the diapers. I actually have the option to do a rinse and spin, and then I can choose to do a normal rinse or I can do a double rinse. Um, I normally do a normal rinse, and then if, I'll usually check on it, and if I still feel like there's like poop on the diapers, then I will do another rinse. It's just on cold water, because it's just gonna be a cold rinse, and then we'll come back here in 20 minutes. The rinse is done and they seem pretty clean to me when I take out an insert it seems like all the poop is pretty much off now we are going to start the actual wash all right and you just pour right in here so a little trickster thing that I do that actually Heidi Kim taught me because my washing machine is high efficiency and like I said I have to trick it to putting more water in there than normal I have to make it heavier so to make it heavier I get a big old towel and I get it soaking wet Okay, so by doing this, it's really heavy. So it's gonna make the washing machine think that there's a lot more clothes in there than there really is. And it'll make it put more water into the machine. I gotta get this into there. Here we go. 
I did it. <laughs> I used whitest whites. That seems to use the most water. Um, on heavy. And then I put it on the hot hottest it can go, which really isn't that hot. And then I put it on spin speed as a high and second rinse. And you just press start. There it goes. It fills up slowly. That's not all the water that's gonna go in there. Here they are washing. All right guys, diapers are finally done washing and now we're going to begin to hang them. I hang all the inserts um, for a little while if they have a stain on them. I just hang them up right here. And the coolest thing is that when I come back here in a few hours, these stains will all be gone. So you can take a look at this one. Pretty gross stain. I'll hang the ones with buttons just because I'm not sure how my dryer will handle them. All right guys, so I've got all my inserts hung up. As you can see, there's all kinds of yellow nasty stains all over them. So in a few hours when I come back, they'll hopefully be all gone. But either way, this isn't necessary. I only do this just because it kind of saves a little bit of energy, but I'll end up probably bringing them into the dryer and fluffing them up a little bit later. All right, so these have been sitting out here for about an hour and I've basically run out of sun. But I actually did a pretty dang good job. You, as you can see, a lot of the yellow's gone. There are still a little bit of staining on here. And if I had more time, they would have sat out here much longer and all that would have been gone. Good for now, next time I set them out, they'll pretty much be completely gone. And so now I'm gonna put them in the dryer and have them dry the rest of the way. So I put all the diapers back into the dryer. Put it on just a delicate because the, the diapers are actually mostly dry now. Um, I just wanna fluff them up and get them more absorbent, I guess you can say. Um, as far as the temperature, it's just on extra low. All right, we're just gonna press start. And we'll be back in 25 minutes. All right guys, so cloth diapers are dry and clean and now I just stuff them and put them away and we're good to go for another few days. I hope you guys enjoyed my cloth diaper wash routine. If you guys cloth diaper, I'd love to know what you do differently or similarly, similarly, what you do similar, uh, whatever. And I'd love to hear your guys' recommendations. Right now this is working and I really enjoy the routine because it's fairly simple. But you know, the high efficiency washing machines are you know confusing and can be difficult to sometimes trick it into washing and getting a good clean anyways i uh, hope you guys like my video thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye hey guys so welcome to my very first ask missy i asked all my twitter followers for questions and i got a ton so i'm gonna go through them right now so my first question comes from courtney allen she says what is the coolest thing Ollie has ever done? The coolest thing is that he smiles and yesterday he just giggled! It was the cutest thing ever. Okay, Jackie Witchell asked, how big of a 